the thing with EPROMs is EPROMs allowed uh, developers to put a lot more software control on the device. So like take for example the H910. H910 has no PROMs and it has no EPROMs. So there's no code on the H910. It's all discrete logic chips, array, um, you know, gates and um, flip-flops, etc. So the H3000, on the other hand, does the H910 um, algorithm, but they took the H910 algorithm and put it onto an EEPROM so that you're able to essentially recall it along with, you know, a million other presets. Oh yeah, lexicons, yeah, the 480L. Um, does the 200? Yeah, I think the 200. Does the 200 have... Yeah, the 200 has EEPROMs in it. 300L, obviously. 224, I promise you it doesn't have EEPROMs.